again. In today's lesson, we are going to see some other vocabulary. So we will start with the months. We have seen them before. Okay, so let's start. January. January. February. February. March. March. April. April. May. May. June. June. July. July. August. August. September. September. October. October. November. November. December. December. So, here we have some ordinal numbers. Okay, so this one is first. The first. And where is the second? This is the second. And here we have the third. And the fourth. Then we have the fifth. Then the ninth. Then the twelfth. Then thirty first. Thirty first. Okay, so listen and repeat. First. First. Second. Second. Third. Third. Fourth. Fourth. Fifth. Fifth. Ninth. Ninth. Twelfth. Twelfth. Thirty first. Thirty first. Okay. Here we have a couple of questions and we are going to answer them. It is the seventh month. It is the seventh month. Which one? July, of course, yes. It is the 20th letter of the English alphabet, okay? So, if you count them A, B, C, D, okay? So, which one is the 20th? It is T, yes. It is the first month of the year. Which one? Of course, January, yes. And... We live in this century. Which century we live in? Yes, it is the 21st. 21st century. Yes, it is the second month of summer. The first month is June and the second is July. It is the first day of spring. The first day of spring. Which one? Spring uh, starts in March. Okay. Which day? 21st. Yes, the 21st of March. Yes. It is the 12th letter of the English alphabet. 12th. Okay. 12th is L. Yes. A, B, C, D, E. E F G H I J K L L is the twelfth. Yes, it is the third month of autumn. The first month is uh, September, then October. The third is November. Yes, November. Okay, so here we are. We have answered all these questions. Now let's move to the next exercise. Here we should choose between two choices. We go or we went to the zoo last Saturday. What is this? Went? Okay, so here we are going to see before answering the rule. Okay, so here we have studied before how to conjugate the verbs to the past. But we have seen just how to conjugate regular verbs. But there are some other verbs that are irregular. So they have no rule. You must memorize them by heart. 
Okay, so blow in the past is blue. Bring in the past is brought. Do in the past is did. Go in the past is went. Have in the past is had. Make in the past is made. Drink in the past is drank. Eat in the past is ate. Give in the past is gave. Ride in the past is rode. Sink in the past is sang. Write in the past is wrote. Okay, so Dad gave her a present yesterday. Okay, so here we are talking about the past yesterday. Dad gave, not give, not give or gives, no, but gave because we are talking about the past. Did he give her a card? Here we still talk about the past. Did. Okay, so we, if we want to form the question in the past, we should use did, not do. Okay, in the present we say do. Do you study English? Do you listen to music? Do you play football? But in the past we should use did. Did you play football yesterday? Did you play football yesterday? Did you read the novel yesterday? So here did, did in the past. But the verb here doesn't change. Not gave. Gave just in the affirmative. But in the question or in the negative, we don't change the verb. We don't conjugate the verb. We just keep adding did. Okay? Did in the question and didn't in the negative. So, no, he didn't. Okay? So, we can see some more examples here or the full, full rule. Okay? So, the, the verb here in the past doesn't change. Not uh like the present okay in, in present we change the verb uh the verbs uh, according to the subject pronoun so we say i go you go he goes she goes we add s or es but in the past we don't we don't change the verb they are all the same i went you went he went she went the same okay Oh, this is the uh, negation or the negative form. We say, I didn't go. You didn't go. He didn't go. She didn't go. It didn't go. No, didn't go. Okay, in the past. Yesterday, I didn't go to the supermarket. Yesterday, you didn't go to school. Yesterday, he didn't go to the museum. He didn't go. Okay, so... They are all the same. When we want to form the question, we start with did, then the subject pronoun or the pronoun, the subject in, in general. Okay, so we say, did I go? Did you go? Did you visit your grandfather last weekend? Okay, so we are talking about the past. So, did you visit him or her or them last summer? Did you? Did you? Okay, so this is how do we form questions in the past. Okay, so for irregular verbs, we have said that you should memorize them by heart. The passive go is when, see, saw, come, came. Okay, but we use this form just in the affirmative sentence. Okay, so I saw, this is affirmative sentence. Not a question and not negative. But in negative, we just say, did you see? Did you see? Did you see? And in negative, we say, we didn't see. We didn't play. We didn't go. We didn't write. We didn't plus verb or the base form of the verb without changing it, without conjugating it. Okay? So that's it. Here, so we should choose now between this these two choices the first one we go or we went to the zoo last saturday last saturday is the past so we should use went okay we should conjugate it due to went okay did he have a party or had a party had is the past form of have but we cannot use had here because it's 
a question. Question. Okay, so when there is a question, we just add did. Did he have? Uh, not did he had. No, we mustn't conjugate the conjugate the verb. Okay. Mom make a big cake or made a big cake last night. Last night is the past, so made. We must conjugate the verb because here there is no question and it isn't a negative. I didn't do. This is the negative. Okay, so we should use do. We don't conjugate the verb. I didn't do my homework last night. She rides or she rode her bike to school yesterday. Yesterday is the past. Yesterday, so we must use road because there is no question mark and it isn't a negative. Okay? A negative sentence. So, did you drink or drank milk last night? Did you? This is a question, so we must use drink without conjugating it. Okay? So, that's it. Maybe it's easy. Yes, exercise number 17, join the sentences use after, when, before. She blew out the candles, we ate the cake. We, so, we should join them using after. Okay, so which sentence is or happened first? Okay, so, after she blew out the candles... We ate the cake. So the first action here is blow out, and the second is ate the cake. Okay? So after she blew out the candles, we ate the cake. We went to bed before. Uh, okay? So we should join this two, these two sentences with before. He went to bed, he watched TV. So, which one is the first? Which action is the first? The first one is he watched TV. And the second one is went to bed. So, before. This action happened before he went to bed. Yes, that's it. They heard a noise, they heard a noise, everyone screamed. Okay, so here we have when, so they happened at the same time. Okay, at the same time, so we should use everyone screamed. Everyone, everyone screamed. Everyone screamed when they heard... They heard what? They heard a noise. Everyone screamed when they heard a noise. Number four, the clown arrived. The children cheered. Okay, so the, we have here when. So the children cheered. The children, the children, yes, cheered when the clown uh, arrived. Okay, so you can write it like this, or you can say, when the clown arrived, the children cheered. Okay, so if you want to start with when, you can. Mom brought the pizza, we all ate. Okay, so here we have after. So, so here we can start with after, okay? So after, after what? After mom, uh, yes, brought the pizza, yes, what happened? We all ate. Okay, so this is the second action. He played some music. We started dancing. Okay, so here we can start also with when. So when he played some music, we 
started dancing. Okay? Or we started dancing when he played some music. Okay, so here you can use both of them. Okay, now what did they do yesterday? Listen and choose. Listen. Where did Liam and Lily go yesterday? Where? Did they go to the zoo? To the zoo? No, they didn't. They okay. went to the park. No, to the park. Okay, so choose the park. What did Jake do yesterday? What? Did he ride a bike or an elephant? A bike or an elephant? He rode a bike. A bike. Okay. Yes, he rode a bike. What about Daisy? Did she make a kite? A no, kite? she didn't. She made a cake. A cake. It was delicious. Okay, delicious. Cake. And Nanny? What did she do? She wanted to write a letter, but a letter? she wrote a card. Okay, so she wrote a card, not a letter. A card. Okay, so we have answered this exercise. If you want to study uh, the dialects carefully, okay, so this, this, these are the dialects, okay? Now, here we have some more examples. How do we use the, the past? Okay, so listen to the first. Did Liam and Lily go to the zoo? No, they didn't. Did Jake ride an elephant? No, he didn't. Did Daisy make a cake? Yes, she did. Did Nanny write a letter? No, she didn't. Okay, so that's all what we have today. Thank you very much for your listening and see you in another class. Goodbye.